You know, the, the one point you make that I actually agree with is the competitive edge, right? Tom Brady setting goals for, him, for himself, and this is a guy who we've seen reached reach goals that we never expected a guy at his age to reach or a guy that came into the league the way he did in the sixth round to, to become the greatest of all time, in my opinion, at the quarterback position. But the other thing is this. You talk about the process. Mm -hmm. You talk about the understanding that Tom Brady not only has of himself, but that he has of the league. He understands this is the best place for him. He understands that what the New England Patriots have done for him as he's gotten late into his career isn't status quo for the New England Patriots, whether it was Richard Seymour, uh, Vince Wilfork, Lawyer Malloy, all of these Jamie Collins, all of these people that could re still really play football. They were pushed out of New England before exactly. a lot of people thought it was time. Exactly. But not Tom Brady because you have the heir apparent, right? You have Jimmy Garoppolo, a guy that Bill Belichick loved. What happened when Tom felt a little, uh, a little, little tug at him? What happened when you thought that Bill Belichick might have found his guy? He gets shipped off, right? You don't ship off, of, off a guy in New England if you think he can become a player. But when you have Tom Brady... When Tom Brady is as important to anybody as ever been in the history of football to an organization, you treat him a little differently. And yes, I do believe they want to go year to year. They do want to kind of understand what type of commitment that Tom Brady wants. One of the things that was said on your show was that depending on him taking team-friendly deals, right. what's to say that Tom Brady won't take team-friendly deals? Right, he's because done it for he, a long time Right, when now. he was at the apex of his career, when he was at the peak of his talent, he took team-friendly deals. And you said it yourself. It's about the cast of characters around him. He loses a left tackle to Oakland this year. You, you lose Rob Gronkowski. But you watched Nikhil Harry last night. He can turn out to be that big-time, big-body receiver that Tom needs. And so I think as this year progresses, as we see how his body holds up and the ways that Tom Brady is able to play, if he can still do it next year, he does it as a New England Patriot. Because I'm just not sure how much another team – will be willing to invest in the guy that they haven't well, seen every day like Don't Tom get me Brady. wrong. I think that's the most likely scenario. But what's interesting <clears throat> is the possibility because we can't picture Tom somewhere else. But remember this organization, and you just laid it out. This is an organization whose M.O., first of all, is to go year to year and not give a contractual commitment into the unknown. Right. The unknown of a 43, 42, 44-year-old quarterback. Mm -hmm. That right there makes their relationship a short-term relationship, a year-to-year, -year, let's evaluate this as it goes relationship. That gives both parties, and importantly mm -hmm. for Tom, according to Tom Curran on my show yesterday, that gives Tom the ability to write his own chapter. Mm -hmm. It gives him autonomy. He can say, okay, well, I get to reevaluate you year to year as well right. as, as you evaluating me. Second, I think this is important. You laid it out. Richard Seymour, Lawyer Malloy, Troy Brown, Wes Welker, Trey Flowers. Mm -hmm. We can keep going. It probably gets to well over a dozen guys who could still play that the New England Patriots said goodbye to before they could say goodbye to them. They want to be first. Mm -hmm. They want to get out early, not late. Is Tom different? Obviously, right. Tom is different, but the MO doesn't change. So the point is, I feel like at some point, you're going to get to this push and pull. Tom has individual goals. He wants to play later into life. The Patriots don't want to commit to something that has obviously never been done, a guy playing at this level at 44. What does that add up to? I think it does potentially add up to Tom looking around going, well, where else? could give me a situation where I could win? Mm -hmm. Who else shares my values? Who else would let me play? And I don't think at this point, Ryan, it's that hard to find them. You got a former New England Patriots coach in Miami. You got a former New England Patriots coach in Tennessee. You got a coach in Tennessee who's on the last year with his current quarterback in Marcus Mariota. There's no commitment beyond this year to Mariota. Tom Brady's a free agent next year. He has full autonomy to go wherever he wants. Is it really that hard for me to picture him right. teaming up do, with Mike Vrabel in Tennessee? Don't you also think, though, like, at, at some point, you know, he's been living in Boston for so many years. He's not going to want to just go anywhere. I mean, he's not going to want to go to the, you know, the Buffalo Bills. He's not going to want to live in Buffalo, New York at this age with his beautiful wife, Giselle, and their family. That may, brings up another point, and maybe one of you can explain this to me. How do you sell your home, or at least put it on the market, in Massachusetts when your nearest home is three hours away from Gillette Stadium? Well, How does that commute work? And, well, by the way, just while we're at this for a moment, Ryan, <laughs> where is he looking for homes? Reports are Greenwich, Connecticut. Now, I don't, that's right over there. That's right. a bedroom community in New York. Alpine, New Jersey, that's a bedroom community in New York. He's not going to go play up here. I just want – Daniel a, Jones, after last night, there may not be an right. opening. He was <laughs> never going to play. I think the – 
the, the big thing is we're going to start reading the tea leaves, right? We're going to start trying to draw all of these different conclusions as to where Tom Brady would be and analyzing every move he makes away from football. But I'm telling you, that's the wrong thing to do because to this guy, football is the most important. Right. And so when you look at the way he approaches the game, it's going to be what gives me the best chance to win? What gives me the best chance to succeed individually? I don't think those are things you 100 percent no confident. The answer to those questions will be New England Patriots over the next two to three I years. I am 100 percent confident those things would be the New England Patriots because Tom Brady is very aware of legacy. He's also aware of how this business and organization is run in New England. Oh, I don't, and buy I don't the care. Legacy thing. And I don't care. The legacy thing. Let me tell you something. Does anybody remember Joe Montana as a Kansas City Chief? I do. Does anybody remember do. Evan Smith as but an Arizona thing, Cardinal? But the, the, nobody, I'm talking about the legacy. In the long term, nobody cares I mean the, about I'm that. I'm talking not. Not the legacy of Tom Brady, the legacy of the New England Patriots and the way the organization is run, right? But just because just because Matt Patricia goes somewhere and he's a, a, a Bill Belichick disciple, it doesn't mean that he doesn't show up late to meetings. Right. And so just right. because you're trying to implement what New England's done, Bill Belichick doesn't show up late to meetings. So it doesn't mean just because you worked under me, you can run the program That's the same true. way I do. That's and Tom true. Brady's going to be paying attention to that as well. So to be clear, is your answer to this question no? You no. cannot picture him in another no. uniform in, and I, in his and entire I don't career. And I don't want to see it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.